Hi everybody. Um, not exactly sure where I'm going to go with this today, but it's been a minute since I made a video. And I've been thinking about asking women to be brave. And I guess I'm going to ask you all to be really brave and talk to each other. Either secret internet conversations that maybe are or aren't attached to your real names or in-person conversations when it's safe to do so text messages phone calls because you know you know there's more of us than there are of them there's more women than there are of men there's more women who know that the trance ideology is a dangerous homophobic woman-hating, pharmaceutical-pushing cult, a life-destroying, sex-life-destroying cult. You, you know this. Everybody knows this, I believe, deep in their heart. But, uh, excuse me, little fungus gnat. Um, but women are afraid to speak up about it and men I don't you know great if you do that great I've seen some gay guys coming out on YouTube making videos I think that's fabulous but um, we can't depend on them we need to speak up for each other for ourselves and I want you especially to think about your younger sisters your daughters God forbid if you brought a child into this hellscape but if you did think about your daughter and think what it means. You, you've all read The Handmaid's Tale, right? That that was not a fable. That's a true story. She took all those things that happened from parts of the world, different parts of the world where that kind of shit was going down. We can see it happening now here in the U.S. again um, with the abortion laws. God damn it. And in Poland. Um, and everywhere. <laughs> but uh, this, they, the left, the male left... Let me tell you something. They don't love you. They don't. I'll, they they hate you. Or they wouldn't have allowed this to go on, right? Like, your actions speak louder than the world. The words. They they love this because it, uh, it shuts up women, especially old lesbians, um, who know what men do and know what kind of crap they spew. And that they're, as a rule, as a group, as a class dangerous to our well-being and if you don't agree with that I guess <sighs> I've had people tell me lately that males are just as violent as women and and this is one of the things that the trans ideology pushes right you can't even get proper statistics anymore it never used to be even a controversial to say something like that but I understand now people are being thrown off of the uh, the Twitters for for saying just that uh, when I was thrown off it was for saying that uh, males are males but so it's gotten even worse I guess you can't say facts anymore and what they're doing with um, logging people as the wrong sex is our our violence stats are going to change and our and, and I'm wondering also um, with the the plague how are they logging the health statistics you know are we gonna get fucked up on those two and are we gonna allow um, trance males into female vaccine tests that sort of thing like it's already bad enough for women they already don't do a lot of medical testing for us because um, the male is considered to be the default so I just wonder if this is going to make it worse. But anyway, I'm asking you to start at least talking to each other. Um, if you start with a raised eyebrow or a... Do you, does that make sense to you? Or a... Just, just start questioning. And I think the floodgates will open. I think the ridiculousness of... Like a Yaniv who apparently has... Um, Mobius dicked himself. <laughs> oh, um, hopefully that's true. Then he can't rape anybody. That would be great. But, you know, at what point do you stop believing the no to trans, 
no true Scotsman lie that the dudes that are perverted pieces of shit aren't actual trance males. They are. They're they're all. That's what it is, y'all. It's either some kind of dysphoria and they're mentally ill. And we used to be nice to them, but they that was our first mistake. We never, ever should have let any of them into our spaces, ever. And who chops off a, a, a piece of a body to solve a psychological problem? That's insanity. That's insanity. It's like plastic surgery. They're nut job. That's a nutty thing to do. And it's late-stage capitalism run amok, as you all know. So... I'm sorry to tell you that the male left doesn't love you, but they don't, and they never will. And as a woman, you won't have a home until we create one for ourselves. We used to have one in the women's movement, small though it was, but now that has been eroded. And I got it. You have helped. You have helped erode that. You have hurt your sisters. You are hurting them now. And I'm asking you to stop, stop. You know what? If you're not brave enough to start having the secret conversations that we need to have, at least stop spouting their nonsense and doing their job for them. You handmade, please don't. Just at least shut up about it. And I hate to say it that way, but I, I guess I mean it. Um, stop spouting hateful rhetoric at at women. They're not going to love you no matter how exceptional of a girl you are. You can't bend enough to, sit, to, to make them happy because they want to wear your skin as a suit, right? They do. They hate you. They want to be you. They, they are jealous and I, I don't know what their fucking problem is. Well, I guess I'm not a male, so I don't know what it would be like to be that but but just instead of looking at themselves they're trying to take away from you and your sisters more importantly always think of the ones who are in a a more tenuous position than you are you okay can you sleep at night knowing that women in prisons are being locked up with these sexual predators like i've said before i the thought of it is just it's maddening. And if let me tell you something. This is what Andrea said a long time ago. If you if if males actually cared about us, they would be driven mad by the rape and abuse and violence against us. They would be driven mad and they're not. They're fine with it. They're fine with it. So you're going to have to save yourself. We're going to have to save ourselves. Come home. Be home with us and let's build something ourselves because the left bros are not, in fact, left. That's the most conservative thing I've ever heard, um, this trance thing. And if you think it's not going to spread to other parts of your life and affect you personally, you're very wrong. Um, I hope everybody's having a great day. It's a sunny day here. Quick chicken update. Let's see. They're so mad because we got all this snow. <laughs> And Consuelo, let me show you. Consuelo did a um, a pathway with the, can you see it? I hope you can see it. I can't even see what I'm showing you. A pathway with the snowblower all the way out to the to the chicken house um, so I can get to them. And they run down the little pathway to eat their meat when I make them come out in the, in the sun and snow. But they really don't like it. And they're mad. And they're ready for spring. As am I. Um... The clover seed experiment is going really well. It doesn't seem like there's a huge difference in between the lights. i got to try some vegetables. Time to start some of that. Um, oh, and Consuelo had her second vaccine shot yesterday at work. And she was feeling fine. And this morning she woke up. She had a bit of a fever. It seems to have broken now. But she's having a lie down and just sleeping. She doesn't feel good. So that is awesome news because that means her body's having a big fat um, reaction to it. And hopefully she'll be bulletproof against the 484. All right. I hope everybody's having a great day. Be brave. Be strong. Talk to each other. Bye.